So I've been sitting here for a while now and I don't hear any footsteps anymore, but I still am just sitting here with the saw just in case. Uh, I haven't moved much. It's been probably 30 minutes since I last updated you guys. But honestly, even though how stupid this sounds, I'm willing to die right now. Like, I, I don't mean to sound dramatic or anything like that, but every single comment every day is, Jake, you're such an idiot for being at Calvin's house by yourself and you're such an idiot for going back. And in my heart, in my stomach, I just, I can't stop. I, I can't. There's just something in me that just wants to keep going and I just don't want to give up on something that can be so big and so like life-changing for so many people around the world. But anyways, I just wanted to pick up the camera real quick and update you guys. My camera's probably gonna die very soon. I'm still here in Calvin's workshop and uh, the weather actually cleared up outside, which is really freaking good, meaning I can start to walk home right now. I don't have my phone, by the way. It, got, it was left in the car when, when the guys jacked my car. But I don't. It's, it's it's done raining. I don't hear anybody, and I just want to pick the camera up and let you guys know I'm doing all right. And please do not be scared for me, because I'm doing this for you guys, and I want to do it with my whole heart. So I love you guys. Why do you believe what you believe? Because at some point in your life, you trusted the information that somebody was giving you, and that someone you trusted told you that a car was a car, a tree was a tree, a bird was a bird, the blue stuff above you is the sky, and that's the way that we began to determine what we believe to be a fact. Most of the things that we believe to be a fact in our lives are told to us through our stories or the news that we hear. So my question would be, if they were deceiving you with the stories they tell you, would you be able to recognize that? Every time we come to Calvin's house, we go directly into that room. I think we've always passed this and never really looked into it. It's cabinets. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall through the floor because it's very, very run down. But I think it's appropriate if we look into here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to move this actually. There's a big piece of... I just heard something. Sounds like someone's walking right now, but I'm not scared because I have this thing. Let me go check it out outside real quick. Hey, if there's an explorer here, I just want to let you know this place is not safe, okay? This is not a safe place to be. I know it's a popular area for kids to come, but there's a reason why no kids come here anymore. So if you can hear me, just leave now. It is not a safe place to be. All right. I'm outside of the warehouse now. I'm outside of the workshop. I th there's somebody walking in these woods. And, I, and it's not Calvin or any of the McGinley's because you guys know how they are. They're very loud. And they talk to each other all day long, so I would hear them. It might be a teenager or something being an idiot trying to explore a very, very dangerous place. There was footage on an old VHS tape that used this right here. There was somebody tied to it with chains and bleeding out. 
as you can see there's like fabric and stuff like that that's stained red probably from the blood i don't know why this was uh never taken down or anything like that but it's still here which is not good guys every single day i pray right i i pray every single day i have i have the jesus piece on my neck and every day i pray to god and i say will you, will you please allow me to be your warrior every single day please put your hand out to me and i will grab your hand and please walk me down the path that you want me to take and make a difference in this world all the evilness in this world the broken world because i have a tattoo on the back of my neck behind my ear right there it's a broken heart and it stands for the broken world we live in this is a very evil world we live in and i understand that and i know that so every day i pray to god and i say please i pray on my knees so so vividly that he will make me his warrior and I will stand on the front line and stand up against what I believe in and all the evil in the world. I just want to stand up against it and I'm willing to die every single day I come here and I'm willing to die to expose how evil this world is. So guys, please allow yourselves to understand that and do not be scared for me. Instead, I hope that the Spirit of God will flow through me and you guys will be able to be influenced by that and allow it to happen to you. Put the armor of God on today, guys, because I am right now. Right now I'm coming up to a the cemetery that we dug up before. This is a very sacred place for the McGinleys because it is a grave of what I believe to be all the old family members of the McGinleys. The only reason why we come to that conclusion is because over here, if you guys didn't follow along the videos, we dug up this grave right here and found an old diary. We didn't dig deep enough to get to uh, the bodies or anything like that because obviously six feet deep is hard to get. But we found a diary of an old McGinley. Wait a second. Do you guys hear that? I hear a little kid. Do you guys hear that little kid? I hear a freaking little kid. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, walking through the woods. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, where are you at? Are you alright? This is not a place for, for you to be if you're just like trying to explore this is a very very dangerous place to be so please show yourself and i'll help you i'll show you the way out of here i hope nobody catches me hello <laughs> it's okay you can come to me where are you you can come to me i have a saw but I i'll drop it if you're scared of that the only reason why i have it is just for protection this place is very dangerous i can't find you either it this is not a place for you to be playing around, okay? If you come to me, I'll, I'll show you the way out. I'm dropping the saw now. If you don't want to talk, I'll, I'm going to come to you, okay? Just keep, keep saying something. Keep, keep speaking and I'm going to come to you. Alright? I'm unarmed and I'm just trying to help you. I'm coming now. I'm coming. <laughs> Are you by yourself? Are you alone or are you with somebody? Uh oh. I hear a truck. There's a truck coming. Listen, kid. It's not a game to be playing right now. The owner of this property is going to be pulling up. I just heard his truck. So please, let me help you and get out of here. Hello? Hello? 
Please let me help you. It's gonna get really, really dangerous very fast. Listen, we need to get out of here now. Okay? Calvin McGinley and his brothers are coming here right now, as we speak. So we need to get out of here, okay? They're very, very bad people. Oh my God. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? The truck, I just heard a truck pull up. But I cannot leave this kid here. I can't leave it, just leave a kid here. I don't even see him though. He thinks he's, I think he's playing a game with me. I gotta go back and get the saw. I gotta go back and get the saw just for protection right now. Listen kid, if you wanna play games, just, we're playing hide and seek right now, okay? We're playing hide and seek. I'm gonna need you to hide somewhere really, really good and be very, very quiet until I come find you, okay? And do not make a sound until I find you. This is a life or death hide and seek game right now, so hide and hide so good. Where the hell is this kid? I see something over there. What the hell is that? Hey, are you over here? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just, just knock on something twice, okay? Hey kid, are you in here? Guys, this is not a good sign at all. I don't know where this kid is and I don't have the diary or the map that we found. So I have no idea where I'm going. He can't make any noise for me or she, she can't make any noise for me because somebody's here. Somebody's here and they're looking through the woods and they're looking for me. Or they're looking for that little girl. So. I'm in a really bad spot right now. Just know if anything happens to me, I fucking love you guys so much. And do not be sad, okay? Because this is what I want to be doing. I want to be helping and I, I, I promise you I, I won't give up. I'm gonna protect this kid with my life. And I'll do it for any one of you guys too. So don't be scared. I love you. Guys, I'm in the middle of the wasteland right now. Those are the box, those are the barrels. That looks like he probably carried acid in to burn bodies. Pieces of wood over there. Don't know what that's for. I just checked it out and there was nothing really over there. But I'm just going deeper and deeper into the woods and I I just don't know what to do. I might have to fight Calvin face to face or whoever that is face to face. I might have to do, that might be my only option right here. And right now. I just, I don't know where to go or where to find this kid. And he can't say anything, otherwise he's gonna get caught and killed. Holy crap.
I gotta get far away. I gotta get far away. Okay, this is good. There's a tire right here that looks like a... It's a sign of civilization. So hopefully I'm coming across something pretty soon. Hey kid! Hey kid! Can you hear me? Hey kid! If you can hear me, knock on a tree two times. There's nothing to be scared about. I'm by myself. What the hell is this? A freaking bench? These sick, sick bastards. These sick bastards. They have a... F they have a fucking picnic bench out here. What do you think they do at this picnic bench? Take a freaking guess. They're eating children meat here. Dude, he's definitely, he, they're, they're eating kids here. Look, they probably fry them right there. It's burnt up with a bunch of freaking beer from these hicks. Having a freaking barbecue on Memorial Day, eating, eating little kids. That's how evil this world is. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I don't know, get out of here. It's okay. I'm gonna save you, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you. No, 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 No. 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 Please no, please no. 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 Oh. She's dead. She's fucking dead. She's fucking dead. Oh. I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta get the hell out of here and get some freaking help. I gotta go get some help. I just fucking witnessed a murder. Someone help, someone help. Someone please come down this drive, this road. Please, please, there's gotta be one car. There's gotta be one freaking car somewhere. Please, one car, just one car. Just one freaking car. Please help me. Please freaking help me. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to get out of here and and help some. Come on. Oh, there's water there.
I need to get down out of here. Oh God. There's no way I'm stranded in Calvin's property right now. There's nothing for miles. There's a little girl just murdered right in front of me. Please, someone help me. There's a little sign of hope, guys. A little sign of hope. I can't give up yet. There's a beautiful little butterfly right there. Man. Hello, butterfly. I need your help, okay, bud? I'm gonna need your help. I need you to... Find me a way out of here. You think you can do that? I know you're a sign from God, okay? I need your help and I need you to get out of, get me out of here, okay? Take my hand. Take my hand. Oh, she, it's going. It's going. It's showing me this way. Oh my God. I'm just gonna keep following you, okay? Please show me. Oh my God, this is amazing news right there. Do you guys see that? That is the railroad. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this railroad leads to near my town, near my house. It's still gonna be a really long walk and I'm really dehydrated and it's really hot out today, but this is really good news because I can just walk along this dirt road and eventually I'll get to a familiar area to where I can, you know, either catch a ride with somebody back home or just continue walking all the way back home. But I'm just gonna follow this train track until the sun's probably gonna go down, but until I get home. I got a long freaking walk, baby. A long freaking walk. Oh yes. <coughs> oh yes. <clears throat> Here we come, baby. Right there, there's a road. This road is so close to my house, yo. Oh, there's cars. Oh my God, civilization. Civilization, thank you. Oh, another one. I've never thought I'd be so happy to see so many cars. Holy crap. My wife is probably worried sick about me. Let's go. Home sweet home, baby. Let's freaking go. Oh, I've never been so happy to be in traffic like this. Wish me luck, babes. Oh. Where have you been? Oh my God. Jake, where have you been? Oh. Jake, what's going uh, on? I need water. What's going on? Where have you been? Seriously, what's wrong? I'm just dehydrated. I can't even walk anymore. Why? What's going on? Uh, where's your phone? It's right over there. I've been trying to call you. Give me water, please. Give me water. Please give me water. Okay. <clears throat> I need uh, I need your phone too. I need why? your phone because I, I don't have my phone. That's why. That's why I wasn't answering. I need your phone. I need to track my phone. It took the car. They took the car. Yeah. Who took the car? Some, some idiots. Some idiots took the car near Colin's house, and they have, my phone's in it. But if I you can use your phone to track it, I can find where my phone is and where the car is. So. Who took the car? Just what some do you idiot, mean? Some, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it, actually. So you walked all the way here? Yep. And, I, and my phone and car are gone, so I need your phone to track it. It's right over there. You can go get it. Yeah.